The search continues for the mysterious man in the hat. Belgian police today appealing to the public, releasing video from security cameras at the Brussels airport. A man accompanies two others, believed to be the attackers who set off the deadly blasts. Police believe this third man left a bomb at the airport before fleeing. This plea for new information comes the same day authorities announced they had released the only suspect charged in direct connection with the attacks. There had been speculation the suspect, known as Faisal C., was the third man in that surveillance video. He had been accused of participation in a terrorist group, terrorist murder, and attempted murder. He's now been freed due to a lack of evidence. Police operations in Belgium continued overnight, with authorities carrying out 13 raids and making three arrests. Police in the Netherlands, meanwhile, detained a man suspected of involvement in a terror plot in France. As the investigation continues, the number of dead continues to rise. Belgium's health minister announcing on Twitter today, four patients deceased in hospital, medical teams did all possible. Total victims, 35. Courage to all the families. In Brussels, people continued to remember. Today's gathering, far quieter than yesterday. When right-wing protesters stormed through a vigil, confronting Muslim mourners with some giving Nazi salutes. Police dispersed the demonstrators with water cannon. Brussels mayor questions why authorities weren't able to head off the protest before it started. There are questions as well at the Brussels airport. It's been shut down since the attacks, and it's still uncertain when it will reopen. Airport officials say they will run exercises tomorrow to determine whether they can safely resume passenger travel. For now, though, that question, like so many others surrounding this attack, remains up in the air. Tom Perry, CBC News, London.